In this video, I'm going to be calling out three snakes to come up to a higher standard in their apologetics. The first is known as Jonah 94, aka Light of Monotheism, Jonah LOF, and, gifts, uh, and Gift to Christians. Why is it, when you attack Christianity, you resort to using someone known as Acharya S, whose claims about Christianity have been thoroughly rejected and, re and also refuted? There are even Hindu and Buddhist scholars that say do not trust her. This is not to defend Buddhism or Hinduism whatsoever. But I'm simply saying, why are you using someone which even guys in a religion you don't believe in reject? Not to mention, Chris White has done a thorough refutation of this woman's claims. I would also like to know why you blasphemously claim that Jesus had female breasts on the basis of a scholar known as J. Preston Ebi, who not only denies the Trinity, he denies the second coming of Christ, and there are many other heresies which can even be found in an expose of him. Not only this, why do you borrow from rabbis regarding Isaiah 53? Why are you borrowing from rabbinic Jewish arguments? I've even pointed out in another video that a Muslim who is using rabbinic Jewish arguments end up damning their own religion. Furthermore, there are rabbis who even identify Isaiah 53 as messianic. Now, Tovia Singer has made the, uh, the excuse in a debate with Michael Brown that they're talking about a messiah, not the messiah. But when Sid Roth supplied a quote to Tovia, Tovia didn't know what to say. In fact, you can listen to the whole debate and the hour section after the debate, which proves my point. There are rabbis that identify Isaiah 53 as messianic. Next, my attention to Shadid Lewis. Why do you use Bart Ehrman? And I'm not saying you're the only Muslim, but there are other Muslims that use Bart Ehrman, including Shabir Ali. Why do you use Bart Ehrman as an argument against Christianity, when the same argumentation that Bart Ehrman utilizes can easily be used to discredit what you believe? Now you can make the excuse, well, he hasn't studied Islam. Big whoop. You are stuck with the fact that the very argumentation that Bart Ehrman utilizes for Christianity can be used to destroy Islam, whether or not Bart Ehrman addresses Islam. Whether he addressed it or not is irrelevant. I would also like to ask Shadid why you continually misrepresent the Trinity even though you've had people come up to you and explain the Trinity. Why is it that you've also blasphemously claimed in some videos in a comments page that the Holy Spirit had sex with Mary. Why is it that you blasphemously claim that? And like Jonah, you are also borrowing rabbinic arguments. Furthermore, why is it that you're quite happy to go quote Jewish sources to prove your point when you chastise Christians for going to the Talmud or going to the Jewish virtual library and you made the excuse well, let's not talk about your Bible or the Christian New Testament. So what? What was Bappy's point? He was trying to show you that there were special Sabbaths in the New Testament. And the Gospel of John even backs up Bappy's point. Furthermore, I can't remember what you actually said once, but you said something along the lines of this is why you shouldn't trust Christians. When I was dialoguing with you, you were saying this to the other Muslims. It, it, I'm assuming you said that, I've, I've forgotten the exact words of what you said. But if you did say that we shouldn't trust Christians on interpretation of scripture, why should I give a damn what you say about my Bible? Why should I even care what you and other Muslims say about my Bible? By that same criteria that you laid out, if you did lay it out. Finally, my final rebuke goes to say by baptism, a vehement anti-Trinitarian. Why is it 
that you are going around misrepresenting the Trinity and saying that we worship free gods and not allowing Trinitarians to define what Trinitarian doctrine is. Why is it also that you are resorting to an encyclopedia to attack the Trinity? Yet when X Gamer presented you an encyclopedia about your church, you did not accept it. Furthermore, I would also like to know what encyclopedia you've been quoting, because Jehovah's Witnesses take encyclopedias to attack the Trinity, and yet misquote the encyclopedias. You once claimed that the Trinity came from Babylonian paganism regarding Talmuds. Where is the evidence? What encyclopedia did you quote? Don't assert I read it in an encyclopedia. Show me it. Show the documentation. Because there are also encyclopedias that Jehovah's Witness quote, which, quoted in context, expose their dishonesty. What encyclopedia did you quote? I know you're not a Jehovah's Witness, but I would like to know what sources you're quoting, saved by baptism. You also have no right in misrepresenting the Trinity in any way, shape, or form, and say that we worship free gods. We do not. And this goes also to Jonah 94 and to Shadid Lewis. You have no excuse misrepresenting the Trinity in any way, shape, or form. Come up to a higher standard. And if any one of you uses liberal scholarship, be man enough to take that liberal scholarship and apply it to your own beliefs. Because the very same arguments used against the Trinity can be turned against the virgin birth, which all three of you affirm. There are conspiracy theorists that say the virgin birth is a pagan myth. Even Acharya S., who you appeal to, Jonah, will probably say the same thing. And so it's the same argumentation that others use. If you're going to use arguments similar to that lying serpent, Acharya S., or any other so-called Horus Mithra argument, be consistent and apply it to your own religion. The very same arguments used to attack the Trinity and the crucifixion can also be used to attack the virgin birth, which is what you, saved by baptism, affirm, which is what you, Shadid Lewis, affirm, this is what you, Jonah 94, affirm. Don't use double standards in your apologetic. One final point, and this is addressed to Jonah 94, show me one single Greek scholar who says that mastos in the plural is always female. Keith Thompson demanded this of you when you, I, and he were in Fitzy's room. Show the documentation. Also, saved by baptism, get your friend Repent Sinners or the Fallen Two to stop resorting to character assassination. Why don't you both actually try and make a video response? You're both grown men, you're 30 years older than me, why don't you both grow up and stop acting like little kids and actually make a video response? It was a pretty heated video, i tell you that. Anyway, um, be sure to pass this message on to these guys. I want these lying snakes to come up to a higher standard, and I don't hesitate to call a spade a spade. I await your replies. Thanks for watching.